Hi, my name is Malena, and I did my biography over Condoleezza Rice. So what made me interested in reading about Condoleezza was the fact that my favorite sport is golf, and she was the first woman to become a member at Augusta National Golf Club, which for 80 years only consisted of male members. Condoleezza Rice was born in Birmingham, Alabama in 1954, which was one of the most segregated big cities at that time. Segregation was always around her. She was growing up, but her parents did the best they could to shield her from it and give her a great childhood. Condoleezza says that her parents were ordinary but extraordinary in the way that they raised her. Her mom was a teacher, and her father was a school guidance counselor and Presbyterian minister, which meant that education was very important in their lives, and they were deeply religious. At three years old, she began learning how to play the piano and originally majored in music, but soon discovered that was not what she wanted to do for the rest of her life. So, she switched her major to political science and began studying the Soviet Union. Condoleezza broke many barriers throughout her life, such as being the first black woman to become, no, such as being the first black girl at St. Mary's Catholic School in Denver, Colorado. She started college at the University of Denver at 15 years old while finishing her senior year in high school. She was the first woman, black woman, and youngest person to ever become a provost at Stanford University. She was the first black woman to become national security advisor. She was the first black woman to become the 66th Secretary of State. And like I said before, she was the first woman to become a member at Augusta. There were very many firsts for this amazing woman, but she admits none of this could have ever been possible without her strong faith in Christ. Condoleezza is a leader, and she once said, great leaders never accept the world as it was and always work for the world as it should be. I would definitely recommend this book because it helped me appreciate my family, education, and faith, and to realize that nothing is impossible. Romans 5, 3 through 4 says, Not only so, but we rejoice in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. Does anyone have any questions?